What's up? I'm Tyler. Hey y'all, I'm Walker. And I'm Caleb. And we, we are, are the Jumbo Bandits. Bandits. What's up y'all? We are the Jumbo Bandits. This is Tyler. I'm Walker. This is Caleb. And we even have our special friend Luke Nichols out here with us. Out here eating his Pop-Tarts, rubbing it in these two faces. So we are out here at Morgan's Landing in Aberdeen, Mississippi. We're doing some uh, all kinds of outdoors things out here on the Tin Tom Waterway. It's a good time. Uh, we're gonna have a great time out here today. We just uh, finished up school. Well, these two did. And so they're excited to get out here. Uh, we got some catfishing coming your way. Maybe some frogs. We're gonna do our best to, to find them. Uh, some gar, just whatever we can find and get done. Uh, these two are working on their surviving videos, so they got to eat somehow. But we're coming your way with some helpful tips on all the outdoors and some just fun and just whatever we can uh, come out with. So thanks for joining us and, and hang tight with us. So we're going to be surviving on this trip, so we're just going to be eating. Whatever we catch is all we're going to eat. If Tyler's a Boy Scout, so that? he's... I heard the frog. He'll get we <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we, we've got a you know plan to catch some catfish and gar and other things mm -hmm. like that. We'll eat that, and then as far as veggies go, you know Tyler, uh, we're gonna see what wild plants we can find. I have a little bit um, of things. I will say one of the some of our rules that we're gonna have when we cook our fish, we're not gonna be cooking them um, just plain. We will be using seasonings. We will be using spices. Like I ain't doing bland. I'm already wide enough. All right, we ain't playing that game. Mm. Um, and we're gonna also like I brought things to fry the fish so like the only way we can acquire food is through getting it personally so like if we catch it or if we find it um, I've already scouted out some of the different areas haven't really found that many wild edibles yet but we'll see what happens um, but yeah yeah you got any, any other rules you can think of uh, that's the main ones you know if saying we find things in the woods you know if my friend uh, Luke over here plants a pop-tart in the woods that don't count mm -hmm. so. Or if we find a wild sonic blue raspberry slush tree, <laughs> even though <laughs> that sounds really, really good. Don't count. We can't do that. So we'll see how this goes. We'll check in with you guys in, yeah. uh, throughout in three days. Yeah. If we it's, break. It's just three days. Yeah. 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 Well, three days. <laughs> <laughs> for catfish it's best to have live bait or fresh bait and so what we're doing now is trying to catch with a cast net here we got a five foot radius net so it's ten foot total when it spreads out properly don't always get a good throw but uh hopefully I can get on footage of us catching some bait uh, more importantly we catch bait so we can catch bigger fish so me and Tyler can survive so <laughs> that's the end goal here so we're gonna come over here to this tree we should have some structure and uh, hopefully big fish but, Tyler, we just got our uh, trot line set. And if you know what a trot line is, it's uh, it's a line that hangs out into the water. It's got a bunch of hooks on it with a weight on the end. And uh, we'll bait them up with catfish uh, bait. Um, so hopefully we catch the catfish. So uh, that's what we're, we're out doing right now. We're going to get more line because we ran out. So we want to have two of them, two different spots, yada, yada. So we're out here. We're just living. It's like probably only 80 degrees right now. It's shady, the sun's going down. It's nice out here. Oh yeah, found them. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we've got here is they've come through and set these trot lines. If you can keep this uh, in the spot. So what these are, what we need to do is go out this way. 
So like, what I'm gonna get you to do is with this paddle, uh, it'll just keep us coming out so that this line is taut. Right. And we're just gonna bait these, see on here, they got hooks and weights. And so we set them every two foot or so. And then uh, just hook a fish in there. Let's see, we'll get a shad. It's like catching fish in a barrel. And you just hook them right through the top of the back so that they can still kind of swim in the water a little bit. And then hopefully that'll be a catfish. The benefit is you get a lot of hooks in the water so you can catch a lot of fish and also you can just leave it. You know when you're fishing with a rod and reel you got to sit there and tend to it and you know watch it. But with this you just set them out come back later. What we're gonna do is come back after we're done jugging, fishing elsewhere. And then we're just gonna check these lines and hopefully they'll have fish on them. All right, Caleb, give us an update. What's the situation? Not good. Uh, our battery is dead. It ain't working, but it's definitely charged, so that's a problem. And then, it looks like we're taking maybe some water into our gas can. Uh, and so I think the motor needs to be clean now, the carburetors, because it's probably got water up in the uh, car, so we gotta clean that. So hopefully, by 10 o'clock tonight, we'll be good to fish. <laughs> <laughs> It's currently 7.36, so that's hopeful. Maybe we can do that. Hopeful. Hey, hey, there we go. First fish in the boat, baby. First fish in the boat. There he is. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Let's get him under the cooler. To the cooler. So we discovered, after coming ashore, this thing had come undone. <laughs> So it wasn't getting any gas, so maybe if we cranked it up one time, maybe it'll crank up a second time. It's so close. So it'll crank, it'll crank. So Praise the Lord. We just need to go get a battery, and then we'll be set. If you want to look at this trolling motor, let's go to level five. Fastest, right? That's speeding back up. Mm -hmm, that's a little better. Oh, wait, there it oh, goes. There it Look goes. There it goes. Yep, yep, yep. We've definitely got a battery problem. Definitely got a battery problem. <laughs> yeah. You can hear it. Yeah. There it goes. Yep. So we're going to get a battery and go get some new gas, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so here we are. We're back. Motor cranks. Uh, everywhere is closed to get a battery, so we'll do that first thing in the morning. Uh, we have a paddle, so trolling motor is optional here. We'll ride out there to Walker and Tyler, and then uh, hopefully catch some catfish. Okay. You're gonna set it in the water and uh, it 
should unravel. You may have to unravel it a couple times, you know, like something like that, and then yeah. drop it in, and it will unravel the rest of the way. So y'all, y'all can load them up. I'll drop by and uh, just put them in the water when you get them loaded. All sense. right. Yep. Sounds good. All right. You can give us our our lake update. Here below the dam. Hopefully it's producing some good oxygen for the fish, but we're just chilling. Big so chilling. We set some jugs. Uh, Luke and Ethan got it squared away. They hooked up all the fish. I trolled us down, dropped them in. So now we're waiting. Ethan claims that if he spots the jug moving, that's his fish. So that's right. We'll, we'll, we'll do it that way. That, that's how we eat. We are back to the shore. It is currently 11:13, so uh, kind of early for us, um, but we still wanted to eat dinner. Um, thankfully, Tyler and Caleb are not going to go super hungry. Let me show off the fish here. We so finished with this big old Gasper goo. Gasper goo, big old ugly drum. Um, it might eat. Um, and then this is our biggest catfish, uh, just a pound or two. But uh, got a couple more and. Uh, it looks like it'll be probably dinner mainly for tonight. I'll turn this light out for you. Um, there might be a little bit left over to, to save it. Probably not much. Probably won't cook it all. Um, but depends on what the other guys got to. So uh, we will see y'all probably at the grill here in a few minutes. Second decent blue of the night, baby. Yes, sir. Like yes, sir. Look at that. Beautiful. We're back. We just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update. I think in total we caught how many did we catch in our boat? Six plus a drum. I think it was seven. Six plus a drum. Yeah, and then y'all caught three, 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 three. Of size. Three kids. <laughs> and so that's ten fish. <laughs> ten fish. Quick <laughs> math. <laughs> I'm not the smartest one out of the group, um, but I will say. We caught some pretty nice fish. Most of our minor walkers catfish were kind of fed their cats, and that means they're just kind of smaller catfish, but they're enough to fiddle with. Um, and then, <laughs> oh, Caleb, Dagum, we some fat mama, fat mama catfish. Okay, well that can be any size. Let's have body, body positivity. Um, but <laughs> basically, um, we caught some really good catfish. Um, had a good time. We caught a drum. Basically, that's a freshwater drum, or some people like to call them gas produce. Um, and we're just gonna see what it tastes like. I've never had it. Oh, there's bones inside of it, so bones well, in the teethies. Bone apple teeth. Let me tell you that. Good, good productive day. <laughs> um, yep. But yeah, great day. We had some fun on the water. We used jugs and um, trot lines, and then tomorrow we're gonna do some more frog gigging. Trot lining, jug setting, fun on the water. Good time. Oh, yeah. I saw a deer. It's not a deer, it's just a sign. But yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna, gonna close it out, but go ahead. I, I said all day. See y'all tomorrow. Have a good night or day, whatever good time day. you watch this. Kiss it. Thank you. Lick it.